Diffusion is the net movement of molecules down a concentration gradient. This process allows small molecules, such as oxygen and carbon dioxide, to cross the plasma membrane. Most polar molecules, such as sugars and proteins, cannot freely cross this lipid membrane. Although water molecules are polar, they are small enough to pass through the membrane freely. This special case of diffusion that involves the movement of water molecules across a membrane is called osmosis. If a molecule, such as urea, is added to one side of a membrane, it will not be able to diffuse across the membrane because it is both large and polar. Because of its polar nature, it will interact with other polar molecules, such as the water. This interaction reduces the number of free water molecules on the right-hand side. With fewer free water molecules on the right-hand side, there is now a net movement of water molecules down their concentration gradient to the side with the urea molecules. Because more water molecules are moving into this area than are leaving, the water level on the right side will rise. If the osmotic concentrations of two solutions are equal, the solutions are isotonic. However, when the solutions have unequal osmotic concentrations, the solution with the higher concentration of solutes is hypertonic, and the solution with the lower concentration of solutes is hypotonic. In the process known as facilitated diffusion, a special carrier protein with a central channel acts as a selective corridor which helps molecules move across the membrane. These special carrier molecules that form the protein channel bind only to a specific molecule, such as a particular sugar or amino acid. Once the molecule binds to the carrier protein, this protein helps or facilitates the diffusion process by changing shape and moving the molecule down its concentration gradient through the membrane into the cell where it is released. Facilitated diffusion is similar to simple diffusion in that both involve movement of molecules down their concentration gradient, and this movement is carried out without any input of energy. However, in facilitated diffusion, the movement of molecules will only take place if it is facilitated or helped by a special protein carrier in the membrane. Facilitated diffusion can occur in either direction depending on the concentration gradient, if there is a higher concentration of the particular molecule inside the cell, the same carrier protein would then transport the molecules out of the cell.